what is up everybody welcome back to the channel you guys in this video i'm going to simply um explain to you and also show you step by step um what exactly and how exactly to set up a facebook custom audience this right here you guys is where your roi is at um many many times again if you've been following my channel for a while i've been building an, an, a social media agency since 2016 um, brought on hundreds and hundreds of clients um, since then um, consulted clients and really have done it all um, when it comes to social media marketing and facebook advertising for small businesses so i've heard it time and time again where i'll speak to a client and they'll have an experience with facebook ads that didn't quite work out the best where they spent money, they wasted money, they didn't see an ROI, um, they they gave up on it too quick, or at least, you know, that is the 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 actual answer. It was too damn quick. They gave up on it um, too damn quick and 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 never really, you know, got to profit from it. And I'm gonna tell you why, because it's all about custom audiences. You can't just run a Facebook ad and expect that ad to pop where people are opting in or they're buying your shit right away. Like you can't just do that. Um, you have to simply retarget or you have to create lookalikes, but that's a whole different, a whole different video, but it's all about creating custom audiences, putting people in buckets that have engaged with previous ads. So, so if, if, if I run a Facebook video ad and, 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 and certain amount of people watch it, let's say, for example, it's a minute long video and a certain amount of people watch it for 30 seconds. I could take that audience, put it in a bucket and then show them another ad, the ones who watched it for 30 seconds. Or let's say I'm running, running an ad to a website. They click on the ad, they go to the website, they perform whatever action or, or, or not. Whoever lands on that website, I'm gonna put in a bucket, AKA a custom audience. I'm gonna put all them visitors, website visitors in a bucket, which will allow me to retarget and show another ad to. So as you're running ads, the whole ROI, as I'm trying to mention, it's in the retargeting of people who have engaged in your previous advertising. And that's all through setting up custom audiences. So I'm going to simply walk you through a, a few of the most important custom audiences um, when it comes to one specific option, and that's going to be website. But the way you're going to get here is all you're going to do is log into your into your ads manager and you're going to click on these dots up here and go to audiences. OK, you'll either see it up here at the top or you'll see it down here at the bottom audiences. That's going to bring you right over here. Now, over here, we have a couple options. We can go um, custom audience. We can go look alike audience. We can we can save an audience as we as we go and, you know, set up our own targeting and demographics we can say we can save that specific audience but what i'm going to do today in this video is i'm going to show you how to simply set up a custom audience this is where it all begins okay so we come in here and these are all of our options we can create a, a custom audience of everyone who lands on a specific website or web page with the, within our website so if we have a full-blown website which which, which um, with multiple pages right we can get every link to every page and create an audience around that page. Now, you don't want to do it around just random pages. You want to do it around meaningful pages, profit, profitable pages, whatever pages your ROI is, is based on type of page. And I'm going to show you right now what, what type of page that is for me. Um, but that's a website custom audience, which I'm going to walk you through today. But then you also have customer list. So if I have an email list of customers, I could take that CSV file or that text file, upload it to Facebook, create a custom audience, and then retarget those people in the future. Or I can exclude that specific audience from seeing ads from me in the future. So if I already have a customer list, there are people on my email list that are that are full blown customers, paying customers or members that opt in, whatever you can, you can, you can put whatever label you want, you want on that, whatever, whatever that, that type of a, of a lead is to you on an email list, for example, um, let's say it's a customer list. I upload it to Facebook. Now I can, now I can exclude that audience from ever seeing another ad. So if I'm marketing a specific product and I already got a bunch of people that bought it, I would create a customer list with the email list, right? Of all my customers. And then just simply exclude that list from ever seeing any ads because they've already bought my product. They don't need to keep seeing ads. So customer list is super, super powerful. 
app activity. I've never worked with that offline activity, never worked with that video is what we do a lot of video is exactly what I mentioned before. You got a one minute video, you're running an ad on it. And let's say you got 10,000 people, but only a few thousand watched it for 10 seconds, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, or 25% of one minute they watched it, right? 25%. I could take that and create an audience of those who watched it or watched the whole damn thing, whatever, and then use that audience to retarget in the future. This is where your ROI is at, you guys. People have to see you. They have to see your, your message, your, your advertisement. They have to see you. They have to see your freaking image, your video, whatever the hell it may be. They have to see your ad multiple times before they shit or get off the pot. You know what I mean? And excuse my language, but it is what it is. They have to see your message multiple times before they do anything. That's just that that's basic advertising 101. A person has to see your message multiple times before they before they make a move. Um, so being able to retarget these people who are watching your videos and then getting back in front of them, that's freaking powerful, right? That's powerful. And so I do a lot of website, I do a lot of customer list, and I do a lot of video, okay? Um, now, Instagram account, that's that's anyone who engages. So create an audience of people who visited or interacted with your Instagram profile, post or ads, right? You will need a professional account, which can be either a business or creator account, okay? So that's powerful as well. If you have a, a, a shitload of people on Instagram following you on Instagram, and they all fit your demographic, or they all fit your ideal client, then, then creating an audience of everyone who does that, visits, interacts, posts, or, or comments on, on a post or ad, that could be powerful as well. Um, lead form, that's when you're running lead generation ads, and you can, you can, um, you can, you can create an audience around anyone who engages with that. Um, and then instant experience, never done. Shopping, never done. On Facebook, listings, never done. Facebook Facebook page, that, one, that one's just like your Instagram. So anyone right here, create an audience of people who follow or interacted with your page. So that could be powerful as well. Again, the Instagram account and the Facebook page. I would only really do um, create custom audiences around that if you have thousands of people who are following you on that page that fit your ideal client, if you just got a bunch of random ass people that are, that are liking your business page or following you on IG, I don't know if I'd really target them, right? If, if they're just random, you know, they're not even, they're not even my ideal client. Like, I don't even know if I would waste the time or waste the money to even target that audience. Um, if, if they're not exactly in my, in my, you know, in my, in my direct path of doing business. So that's why I stick with website customer list or video. Okay. So today I'm going to do website. We're going to go website and then we're going to go next. Okay. So here's all we got to do. This is super, super powerful and super, super simple. So when you're in here, you always want to make sure that the source, this is the pixel that, 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 that is on that page. So as I'm going website, now I'm going to go into my, into my Karcher account where I host all my websites and I'm going to grab specific links. All these links need to have this specific pixel on it. Okay. Which this one, number two, this is the one that's on my pages. So I want to make sure that that's green. I want to make sure that that's the one. And then right here, all website visitors, what I want to do is I want to hit that drop down and I want to go to specific. Now you can go to website visitors where includes people who have visited any of your websites, but again, every page is different within my website. So I want to be, I want to be specific. If they opted in and they land on a thank you page, that's a specific page. If they, if they purchased a product and they landed on a thank you for purchasing page, that's a specific page. So in here, I want to break it down and I want to be specific. I'm not going to go all website. Um, I can even go visitors uh, by time spent. So how many, so, so, so I could put, I can create an audience of those who land on my homepage and spend X amount of time there. That's powerful, right? And then, and then right here, down page view, uh, we don't need to do that one. So what we're going to focus on is specific people who visited specific web pages. Now this is thirty days. So with Facebook, this can go up to one hundred and eighty. So enter the number of days you want people to remain in your audience after meeting the website traffic criteria you specified. Okay, so people will be removed from your audience after this time unless you meet unless they meet the criteria again. So I'm going to go 180. 
I want them to stay in that in this in this audience for a maximum of 180. That's the max 180. Okay. And then down here, we're going to go contains. That's all we need right here. Contains doesn't contain or equals. We're going to just go contains. Perfect. So we're going to, we're going to go right there. And then now all I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here to my funnel. So I use Karcher for everything. You guys, again, if a lot of you guys are Mickey Mouse in it with this type of stuff, man, landing pages, email automation, your online calendar, your freaking online membership hosting platform. A lot of you guys are using multiple services and spending hundreds of dollars per month. I use one. Everything runs through Kartra. My landing pages, my email automation, my online calendar, my tagging, my hosting of videos, my hosting of my membership, my affiliate marketing, selling my digital products. Everything goes through Kartra. So all my pages are created here. Um, there's a 14 day trial in the, in the description, profit with Once you set up a 14 day trial, you'll get an email from me. Okay. I host an, uh, a Q and a, a live zoom Q and a every Monday and Wednesday at 1 PM Pacific, where we jump on for about an hour or so. And I just simply dive in and I teach you how to use this software. So, um, that right there, you guys, is, is worth a lot. I have a ton of people that join me every week, Mondays and Wednesdays, and we have a blast. We have a blast. We're, we're, we're te tearing down the damn software and, and rebuilding it and, 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 and making money online with it. So activate a 14-day trial. You'll get an email from me and join us Monday and Wednesdays for that live q and I'll answer all your questions when it comes to building this software and making money online with it. Okay, so in here, here's all my pages. I got all these pages for this specific funnel. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a custom audience. These are all different pages in, in my funnel. But what I want to do is I want to create a custom audience of everyone who lands on my landing page. So anyone who lands on my landing page, we're going to copy just the URL. Okay, just the URL. We're going to copy that. We don't need the www or anything like that. We want to paste in just the URL. Okay, now those are people who landed on my web page. But or I should say, and I don't know what the right word, were, but let's, let's put it. And yeah, they, they, they landed on. Yeah. But I think it's, but they landed on my landing page, but they never opted in. Okay. They never opted in. So I'm going to take the opt-in page, the page that they would have landed on if they opted in, right. I'm going to take that link and I'm going to exclude it. These audiences, you guys, we're talking specifics, okay? People who landed on my web page, on my landing page, on my home page, but never opted in. So I'm going to exclude anyone, all website visitors. I'm going specific. I'm going to turn the 30 to 180, and I'm going to paste in that URL, okay? And then I'm going to name my audience. This is going to be the Fast Start Blueprint website visitors. And then in parentheses, I'm going to go only. Okay. So this right here, you guys is a very, very specific audience, right? So what would I do with this audience? As I go and set up my ad, I click the green button, create, I go and, you know, choose my objective conversions. And then I go into the second step, which is the ad set level in that ad set level in the, in the full blown setup of your ad, that's where I can click in the custom audiences and include this audience. This audience will be an audience that I always retarget. I always want to get my next ad right in front of these people again, right? My next ad, my next ad, every ad from this point on, I always want to get back in front of that audience because these are people in the past 180 days that, that, that landed, they've been seeing my ad, they may have landed on my website many times, a few times, multiple times, whatever, but they haven't opted in, okay? They haven't opted in. So I want to always retarget those visitors um, and get back in front of them. Now, another audience that I'm going to come over here and create is I'm going to create those who actually opt in. So those who actually come to my landing page, enter their name and email and come to the thank you page. Those are that's an audience that I want to call my leads. So what would I do with that specific audience with that audience? I would now exclude from seeing future ads, right? So as I continue to run Facebook ads, I don't want to keep showing it to people who already bought my shit. I don't want to keep showing it to people who have already opted in, right? So what I would do is I would exclude this audience. They're going to be excluded from seeing future ads. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, custom audience, 
and and there's the green there's the pixel that's the one i'm going to be running with and i'm going to go specific and i'm going to go 180 contains and i'm going to paste in that link okay now here's the deal again specifics okay specifics these are people who landed on the thank you page on the confirmation page on the second page but but they haven't purchased okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the purchase page we're going to go to the order complete page right and we want to exclude that page so this is going to be people who have opted in but they just haven't bought right they just haven't bought so i'm going to go website visitors i'm going to go specific i'm going to go 180 contains I'm going to paste that in and that's going to be my exclude. So here, this is going to be the five step blueprint. Um, let's call it the five step blueprint leads haven't purchased, haven't purchased. Okay. Bam, bam, create audience. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're gonna simply create another audience. We're gonna create one more audience, which is very, very important, okay? We're gonna create an audience of those who land on my cart page. So your sales page, whatever, 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 whatever you're selling, right? Whatever you're selling, you, you there should be there should be some type of, of, of sales page, right? Um, in this case, this is my sales page here. Um, So those who, 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 who opt in, they watch my webinar, right? In this case, it's an actual webinar, right? They watch the webinar. They click on buy now. They come to this page where they then have to put their credit card information. But for whatever reason, they don't, right? They landed here, but they just, they just simply did not pull the trigger. This is an audience I want to get back in front of. Very, 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 very important audience right here that we're going to create because this is a hot audience. If they've gone through my entire funnel, clicked on the damn buy now, they watched my webinar or whatever the hell it may have been, they click on buy now and they go to the sales page, but they just don't pull the trigger. That's an audience you better get back in front of and you better get back in front of them fast, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, create audience, custom audience. We're going to go website next. And this right here is going to be specific. We're going to go 180. Actually, you know what? Someone that added to the cart, I'd want to get back to, I'd want them, I'd want them in this audience for no more than, no more than, I'm going to go no more than 10 days because I'm going to be retargeting them for the next 10. Actually, you know what? Let's go a little longer. I'll be retargeting them, right? So I'll have a backup ad retargeting this audience for the next 14 days after they've after they've landed on that page okay so i'm going to go 14 days um contains i'm going to paste that in now what i'm also going to do i'm going to also grab the confirmation page because again the keyword for today's freaking lesson is specific i want to be specific this is going to be an audience that went to go check out didn't pull the trigger and i need to let it be known over here so this is the sales page secure checkout but i'm going to exclude but they never landed and i'm going to go 180 on this one i'm going to go 180 they never landed on the order complete okay so this name is going to be the fast start blueprint um Add to cart, haven't purchased. And it's just like that, you guys. It's just like that. Those are three powerful audiences that you guys for sure, for sure, for sure should start with when it comes to website um, visitors, okay? We got our landing page visitors only. We got those who, ha who, who haven't purchased. And then actually, you know what? One more, one more, one more, one more. We got to do one more. And then, and then, and then those who added to the sales, who, who clicked on the sales page and got to the sales page, but haven't purchased, 
And then what we got to do is create the mother load of them all and go to the order complete. And this right here is the purchase. So this right here for sure would be an audience that I always exclude from seeing future ads. Okay. These are my actual purchased customers. Okay. So I'm going to come over here specific. We're going to go 180 on this one contains bam order complete. This right here is going to be, this is going to be the fast start blueprint students. Okay. Bam. Right there, you guys. Now, again, the leads, this lead one, um, TS, TSA, TFSB leads, um, I'll always retarget them because they haven't purchased, right? They haven't purchased, so I'll, 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 I'll put together certain ads for them and, and get back in front of them. But this list right here, this audience right here, the students, that's, a, that's, a, that's an audience that I will always exclude. Or again, on the flip side, I can, I can, I can include and run a specific ad straight to them. I can be like, hey guys, what's up, man? Hey, thank you so much for purchasing the Fast Start Blueprint. My name is David. I'll be your trainer and host. I wanted to thank you and give you a personal freaking welcome to the crew. Dude, how crazy would that be if that video ad showed up in your newsfeed after purchasing my digital product, right? That's specific. That's, that's where your message is relevant to the freaking audience. This right here is where your money is at, you guys. It's in the it's in the retargeting of custom audiences, okay? Now, the way you really take your business to the next level is you end up taking this audience, for example, of students, an audience that, 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 that ha have performed the highest level of, 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 um, of steps within your sales process. Those are students. Those are people who actually purchased, right? Once I get 100 people to land on this audience list, right? 100 people in that list, minimum. Then I could turn around and, and create a lookalike audience and now leverage Facebook's intelligence to go find me more, right? But that's a whole nother video. That's lookalike audiences. But for right now, custom audiences, you have to be creating custom audiences. Um, and again, you want to focus on those, on those main three, website, customer list, and video. Focus on those custom audiences, build those out and continue to run ads or exclude your ads from these audiences. All right, you guys. So hopefully that made sense, man. And again, if you're new, my name is David. I'm out here in San Diego, uh, building a social media agency and a digital publishing company. So um, if you're into making money online, if you're into social media marketing and, and Facebook advertising, subscribe, smash the bell for notifications and drop me a comment below. Let me know where you guys are coming from and let me know how I can bring value to what you got going on online. All right, you guys. I'll see you on the next video over and out.